just want to say welcome to all our solo friends and guests. Okay. So thrilled to be here and be with all of you. And did you enjoy all those memories? Yes. Oh, I wanted to watch them forever. I want to go back. And I'm sure all of you do too. I wish we could do half of that right now, but we're gonna very shortly. So I just wanna say that how great it is to be here to see all of you and thank you for joining us tonight. Uh, our last virtual meeting was in February and a lot has happened since then. Actually, since then, we actually had one motor coach trip go out and that motor coach trip, yeah. And that motor coach trip, I went out on April 14th for two nights to the Ark Encounter. And I know that Melissa is gonna to talk to you a little bit about that and about the safety protocols that we had in place. So I won't go into it too much, but we've got lots of trips coming up and there is light at the end of that tunnel. I can see it as I'm sure all of you can too. It's been a long year. It feels like two or three years, but we're gonna get there and we're gonna get back and I can't wait to get back to have a regular meeting. Our June meeting, we have decided to have virtual. However, we will have, uh, after June, we're hoping that we'll have in-person meetings and uh, we'll have some kind of a summer event. And then hopefully by fall, October, we'll be able to have our normal meeting and hopefully we'll have our Christmas function and get back on track because we're missing out. And I know all of you are anxious to get there. If you could have seen how excited those people were on the first motor coach trip out, it was wonderful. And what a great feeling it was. And I'll tell you something, I was a little afraid to wear, when they said we had to wear a mask on the motor coach. That kind of scared me, but guess what? I didn't mind it at all. It was worth every minute. And you can, you can breathe pretty well in those. And you know, you can take it a little bit and get some fresh air and that but it didn't bother me and I was worried about it because it was a long trip. So if that's ever keeping you back, don't let it because I surprised myself and I really didn't mind it. I'd go back and do it again. So we are planning more trips. Uh, we are practicing and following all the protocol and guidelines from the CDC. And uh, can everyone hear me? Okay, just making sure. We do have automation coming and uh, we will keep you posted as it comes along. Uh, this year, as you know, is a free year. And by 2022, we will be back up. And we've got a lot of people waiting in line to join us. And they can't wait because I've told them how wonderful all of you are. So they're anxious to be part of the Solo Club. And we can't wait for you to meet them and be together in person. So with that, now, if you missed our last meeting, you did miss, I made an introduction of our new group manager. And so in a few seconds, I'm going to introduce you again to her. And then Melissa and myself will throughout this meeting, uh, tell you about our trips. We're gonna alternate and we'll fill you in on all of our trips. But if you're interested and if you, I know you're all sitting there and I want you to relax. And if you feel like going and grabbing a glass of wine or you feel like a cup of coffee or a beer, whatever it is, soda, just go and get it, feel free, just sit back and relax and let's enjoy the meeting together. So I am now going to um, introduce you to Melissa Peterson. Melissa was the manager of our Ithaca branch and the Ithaca branch did close. And now uh, Melissa has come to uh, the group department and she is our group manager and she's busy setting up all these trips and getting ready so that we can all get back traveling again, because I know that's what we want to do. So, Melissa, would you like to take over? Thank you. Sure. All right. Hi, Melissa. Well, thanks, Sue. Hi. Um, all of a sudden, I'm big on the screen. <laughs> um, <laughs> thanks for the introduction. Um, hi, everyone. Um, welcome to our meeting. It's nice to um, meet you virtually. I know um, some of you were on in February. Some of you I met on the ARC Encounter uh, a couple of weeks ago, but I'm excited to be part of the department 
and we're building lots of trips where, um, you know, making sure everybody's safe on the trips and just really excited to get to get back to travel. So we have a, a great presentation for you tonight. We'll talk about what we're doing to keep everyone healthy and safe on the trips and then feature, um, you know, a few of our a few of the trips. Well, quite a few of the trips we're offering um, the rest of the year and into early, early next year. So we have our guy DJ um, operating the, the presentation for us. So whenever he's ready, he can, he can get it up and running for us and Sue and I will jump in. All right, sounds fun. Mm -hmm. I love seeing people. <laughs> I know, it's so great to see the faces. Oh. Okay, so welcome to AAA Solo Travel Club virtual meeting. We're happy to have you with us and we hope you enjoy it. Okay, Solo Travel Club certificates. If anybody has any left, you are welcome to use them and they must be applied by December 31st for group travel in 2021 and 2022, okay? So you can still use them, so don't be afraid. And you just give those numbers, uh, they're black and gold. You give the number to your travel advisor and they'll happily apply them to your trip, okay? So you don't want to miss out on saving. Okay, like I mentioned, what are we doing to keep you safe on these trips? Of course, our goal at AAA is to always provide you with a safe travel experience. Of course, we want you to have fun as well and, uh, you know, learn and get enriched, but we also want you to be safe. And that's, that is our primary goal. So um, we waited until April to run our first trip. We made sure we had our I's dotted and T's crossed and that, you know, we would make sure to keep everyone healthy and safe. And it was a great experience and um, it really went well. So what, what what are we doing? First and foremost, in order to check in for one of our group trips, you either must be fully vaccinated, which the CDC defines as two weeks after your, your last shot. So if your uh, the shot that you're getting requires one, then two weeks after that. If it requires two, then two weeks after your second shot, you're considered fully vaccinated. And we would just need to see a copy of your, your record. Um, we don't need to keep it. We just need to see a copy and verify it. If you're choosing not to get vaccinated or you're not fully vaccinated at the time of your trip, then you do need to provide us with a negative uh, COVID-19 test that you had taken within three days prior to the trip departure time. We're running our trips at reduced capacity. So the motor coaches um, at this point won't be chock full, you know, until we get further guidance from the CDC and the state, you know, as to how many people we should be putting on a motor coach. So for the tours that are going out um, this summer, um, they will be at reduced capacity. At this point, masks are required to be worn at all times on the motor coach and as required by accommodations, restaurants, attractions we're visiting. If you're actively eating or drinking on the motor coach while you're seated, you may lower your mask, um, but we do ask that you put it back up when you're finished eating or drinking. And at all times when you're moving around the motor coach, getting on or off, or if you have to use the restroom, you must have your mask on covering your mouth and nose. Um, all of our suppliers that we work with um, have enhanced their cleaning processes. So there's in, uh, new air filtration systems, they're sanitizing, they're um, cleaning more often and using different products to make sure that, that the coach is really um, sanitized and, and very, very clean for you. During our trip, we are... Um, performing on the road wellness and temperature checks. So the wellness check is, is done by you and you answer a few questions. And you know, as long as you can answer that you're, you're feeling well and you haven't had any COVID symptoms, then you do pass the wellness check. And then the tour manager will take your temperature every morning. And um, you know, as long as you're below 100.4 degrees, then you pass the temperature check as well. So we're doing this, you know, to make sure that everyone is uh, not only healthy when they board the trip, but that they remain healthy through the duration of the trip. And um, 
you know, um, even though we're we're in the COVID world right now, and we've, you know, we have this protocol for for travel, um, and one of the components is working with trusted partners with exceptional standards. Um, that's a standard for us anyway. So we make sure that all of the partners we work with, um, you know. Uh, align with our, our mission as AAA. So you can always expect that we'll be working with trusted partners with exceptional standards to make sure uh, the trip runs smooth and you're healthy and safe throughout the trip. All right, so we're going to talk travel next. And um, uh, if some of you who are on this meeting may be in this photo here, but this is the photo of the group that we took to the ARC just two weeks ago. And um, uh, there's our group with their masks on, all excited to be traveling. <laughs> Looks good. Okay, so the first trips we're going to talk about are the Whale Watch Weekends that we're offering and we have three weekend dates available, um, July 17th through 18th, August 21st to 22nd and September 11th to 12th. The, um, the rates start at 369 per person for double occupancy. And during these whale watch weekends, you're going to enjoy a three hour harbor cruise with a focus on whale watching. The cruise departs from Gloucester, Mass, as that's one of the best ports in Massachusetts to view whales from because it's between two major feeding areas. Um, aside from whales, you may even see seals and some other wildlife during the cruise. After the cruise, you'll enjoy a nice dinner before turning in for the evening. And then the next morning before heading back to Western and Central New York, you'll get to spend some time at Fenuel Hall and Quincy Market for some shopping and dining. So um, three great trips, some nice weekends, and um, really a great way to, you know, jump right back into, into travel. Definitely. Okay. Now we've got lakes in Lighthouses of New England, August 8th through the 11th. And this one includes round trip motor coach transportation and from Buffalo, Rochester and Syracuse. And it's three nights and it is eight meals. And uh, you will experience a New Hampshire train ride uh, from Meredith to Weirds Beach. And you're gonna cruise on the MS Mount Washington. And uh, that is a beautiful, beautiful trip. And that departs from Weirds Beach. And uh, we also are going to visit uh, a guided tour of uh, the Canterbury Shaker Village. And this is a national historical landmark. And there's 29 Shaker buildings there. And it's, it sets on 694 acres. So it is a beautiful, beautiful place. Uh, there's also going to be a guided tour of Portland and uh, Portland. We're also going to visit uh, the lighthouses of uh, Nubble and the Portland Head. They are both two beautiful uh, lighthouses and they'll be great photo, st sh yeah, photo stops. Sorry about that. And you're also going to enjoy a main lobster cruise. So there's lots of inclusions here and uh, this trip will fill up fast. In fact, I just want to mention a lot of our trips are filling up very fast right now. And that is due to, uh, I think that people are so ready to travel. And I think we've waited now for over a year. And I, I just know I just can't wait to get out. So uh, this will go fast. And uh, certainly this time of the year, it is just a beautiful time to go to the beautiful New Hampshire and Maine area. So we hope you'll consider this one. Okay, our next trip to talk about is Cape Cod and Martha's Vineyard. So um, the you have your round trip motor coach transportation departing from Buffalo, Rochester and Syracuse. It's a four night trip, August 29th through September 2nd. You have um, seven meals included. And really, there's so much that you're going to see and do on this trip. You'll take a ferry to Martha's Vineyard for a full day of sightseeing, where you'll learn about the history and lifestyles of the islanders. 
you'll travel Route 6A, which is also known as Old Kings Highway, and you're going to take that right to the extreme tip of Cape Cod to the town of Provincetown, where it's, it's like a little town or village. You can shop, you can have ice cream, lobster rolls, um, just really a, a great area. And then um, during this trip, you're going to have your choice of a whale watch excursion or a dune tour. You'll visit Cape Cod National Seashore Visitor Center. You're going to enjoy a lobster dinner. You'll get to visit Plymouth, Hyannis, and Sandwich. You're going to get free time in a lot of these cities so you can explore on your own. Um, really a lot to, to see and do in, in the four days and so much included. Um, double pricing is $11.99 a person, single is $15.29. And really it's such a, just such a great end to the summer and, and start of the fall. So we um, hope you'll consider this trip. Okay, and uh, another trip right around about the same time, it's um, end of summer in Booth Bay Harbor with Boston. And this is August 30th to September 3rd, uh, four night um, package and all, um, you're gonna be staying in two hotels and both of them are on the harbor. So really um, nice views when you're you know, out and about on the property at the hotel. Um, you have eight meals included and, uh, I tell you, what a way to bring summer to a close. Um, the salt air, the breezes, and um, you're going to have a tour of Booth Bay Harbor and Boston. Um, you'll get to um, see uh, the Freedom Trail in Boston and really learn all of the history of that great city. You're going to um, experience lobsters, lighthouses, and trains, locomotives on this trip. Um, like I said, you have the guided tour of Boston and the Freedom Trail. You're going to visit the Coastal Maine Botanical Gardens, take a train ride on the Booth Bay Harbor Railway, um, lighthouses after lighthouses you'll take a look at. Um, there's going to be a narrated boat ride to Cabbage Island, and even one of the evenings, a show at Carousel Music Theater. So um, lots to see and do, and, you know, again, free time carved in so you can shop, you can dine, you can just explore as well. Sounds fun. Mm -hmm. All right, end of summer vacation. And oh, I hate to think of end of summer. <laughs> we gotta start it first. Anyway, this is in Ocean City, Maryland and the date is September 6th through the 10th of this year. And of course this will include your round trip motor coach transportation from our Three, yeah, three cities, Buffalo, Rochester, and Syracuse, four nights hotel accommodations on the beach, and seven meals. We're going to visit the Crab Picking House. You're going to travel the Oxford Bellevue Ferry, and uh, we also are going to tour on Assateek Island to see the wild ponies, and you're going to have some free time in Berlin, Maryland, and Berlin is an amazing little unique village and there's lots of shopping there, and they're famous for their antiques. But they say that that is one of the most beautiful places, and it's that old, you know, uh, amazing little unique village. So I'm sure, I know in Solo Club, we have lots of shoppers, so I'm sure people would enjoy that. And then you get a nice free day at the beach too, and to enjoy the Ocean City, and uh, also visit to the Ocean Downs Casino, which that does actually have uh, live horse racing at this casino too. And they say it's a lovely, it's a smaller casino, but it is a real nice, lovely casino. So this would be, it has a little bit of everything in there and uh, it's a great time to go because September is a, still a beautiful month in Ocean City. Okay, so next we are going to the Hudson River Valley for for the gardens and just all the grandeur that the Hudson Valley area um, is known for. Um, it's majestic scenery, the, the Grand Estate Gardens. Um, this tour is hosted by Sally Cunningham and she's a horticulturist herself. Um, so when you're traveling with her, she's going to be answering questions. She's going to be educating you, really just um, talking 
all things garden. Um, round trip motor coach transportation from Buffalo, Rochester, and Syracuse. You've got your four nights accommodations and your eight meals. And um, you're going to visit and see so much on this tour, including the Rockefeller Estate. Um, there's going to be a house and garden tour there. You'll visit the New York Botanical Garden, enjoy a, a guided tour of Wave Hill, visit the Russell Wright Design Center and Storm King Art Center. You're going to attend the wreath making workshop. That uh, sounds fun. A guided <laughs> tour. I know, it really does. I want to do that. <laughs> Um, a Sorry. guided tour of Wildflower Island. So, so much to see and do in that um, in the Hudson River Valley. And that time of year is beautiful. The trees are going to be popping, still going to be warm, you know, maybe some cool evenings, but really perfect for, for taking in all the gardens and all the beauty of that area. Sounds great. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, here is a solo exclusive. A solo exclusive is meant just for solo members. You can bring like a sister or somebody with you, your mother or whatever. You can bring someone with you. However, uh, you do have to be a solo member. Uh, this trip, I did it back in 2018. And it's a trip that I never forgot. And I believe, I don't know what there was about this trip, but I absolutely loved every minute of it. And I think I know one of the reasons that I'll tell you about in a few minutes. But this trip does have round trip motor coach out of our three cities, Buffalo, Rochester, and Syracuse. And there's one night at this beautiful mansion. And all the, they have 27 rooms and all of the rooms are different. Right now, we actually have some double rooms that are available. The trip is almost sold out. I believe we're up to I think there might be three or four rooms left, but we do have some doubles available too. And this, like you might have a, a sister you might wanna bring with you or a girlfriend or something. Uh, it, it is a fantastic trip. And then once we arrive, you get a tour of the mansion and they have a welcome basket of wine, cheese and fruit in your room. And every room is different. So we'll all be running around looking at everybody's room because everyone loves to compare. And uh, they, they're just really unique rooms. And uh, then there's going to be an afternoon tea and there's a family style dinner that is awesome. And in the morning, there's a beautiful breakfast. And then there is a guided tour of the Avenue of the 444 flags. You'll see that on there. These were they're just wonderful things. And then we end up in the little village of Sharon, Pennsylvania. And they have a lot of little shops that I know many of you people ran off. There's a, supposed to be the largest shoe store in the city and or in, in the world, but I don't really think it was, but that's what they said. And, but there's a little old fashioned diner there and uh, we're gonna stop at a candy store. And I know everybody loves that. And uh, so it's a fun trip. And I'll tell you one of the reasons this trip meant a lot to me. Uh, when we got there, before I went, I did happen to throw onto the bus and I'm gonna do it again this year. <laughs> so I will tell you that this trip comes with a little bonus. It comes with rum swizzle. Let's put it that way. So last year I packed up a whole bunch of gallons of swizzles and I threw in some wine and all this stuff. And that afternoon, everybody was, you know, walking around the mansion and I decided to call a party on this beautiful porch and with the columns there. And we all went out there and it was just beautiful. There were 35 of us and we enjoyed, and I had many people come to me later and say what, how meant, much that meant to them. It's the things like that that make it so special. And there we were, and I know some of the girls, a couple of them hooked up and they went on this other trip to Europe together and uh, they became friends. And so it was like a bonding moment. And those are the moments with the solo exclusive trips that I absolutely love. And uh, that meant so much. And so this year, I mean, it sold right away. And as I say, there are some uh, doubles. We might have a single room left with a couple doubles too. So if you are interested in this, it's gonna be a lot of fun. And yes, I am bringing my swizzles with me and we are gonna have a good time. And uh, then we'll enjoy that beautiful dinner right after we have that. And it was just a fun time. So I encourage you, 
uh, for a little trip to get away, you know? And I just want to say that lots of times, and, and the price is good too, lots of times we really and truly uh, need to get away just for a day. Did you ever do that? All of a sudden, you know, you're going about your life. We've been in now for so long. And you go and you do something for one day and it makes you feel like you've been away for a week. It makes you feel good. It renews your, your spirit. So again, I highly recommend this trip. And I'm going to be with you. Thank you. Sue, I can't wait till we can have in-person meetings so you can make all of us some rum swizzles. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I, have, I haven't had one yet, and you've been talking about them for well, you know, the, you know, one the four night months we've been together. <laughs> I did lay in bed one night and tried to figure out how many gallons I would have to make, <laughs> like, say, for a Buffalo meeting that gets 250 people, and I was calculating it in my mind. I'd have to go to Bermuda and import some more of that, that uh Gosling's dark Bermuda rum back here. So I'll right. have to we're, we're gonna have to, to serve everyone in those little cups they give you at the dentist. Yes, right. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good idea though. Right? Okay. Yeah. Um before before we hop into the fall um arc encounter trip, which you know is is near and dear to mine and Sue's heart right now because we we just returned. But I do want to let everyone know um uh, you do have a chat box that you can you can use um that's part of part of our meeting. So if you have questions, go ahead and put them in the chat box and um, we'll we'll try and address them either between slides or or at the end. And if it's something that um, we don't have the answer to tonight, Sue and I will research it and, and get back to you um, on tomorrow or Friday. So just wanted to let everyone know that chat box is there and feel free to use it if you have any questions. So the next trip is the Ark Encounter. And um, so we ran one uh, last a couple of weeks ago, and that was our sp our spring ARC encounter. And in September, we're going to have our fall ARC encounter. It'll be two nights, September 20th through 22nd. We're going to run the motor coaches. They'll start in Syracuse and pick up in Rochester and Buffalo, and then head out to the, the Covington, Kentucky area, which is you know right on the, the border of Ohio as well. Um, we have two nights of riverfront accommodations, uh, three meals plus a welcome cookie reception. There's a sightseeing cruise on the Ohio River with um, great narration. We had such a great narrator and he played the banjo and he sang. He did a little, little bit of everything. Um, there was a snack bar on board and a real bar. So, um, you know, everyone quite enjoyed themselves that that afternoon we were on the river cruise. Um, but the the main uh, the main attractions on this on this trip are the Ark Encounter and the Creation Museum. And the, the Ark Encounter is a full-size replica of the Ark. It includes hundreds of displays and exhibits with props that depicted life on the Ark. Um, there's animal animatronics and a talking version of Noah and they answer questions. And it's just, you know, it's so, it was really great. And you don't understand the enormity of the size of this arc until you're up close and it was really neat um how we drove down this path and you know went around the corner and there it was so it was was really great we spent um uh, some nice time there and i think everyone really enjoyed it and then the last morning before we head home is the the creation museum which really brings the pages of the bible to life um, by you know it casted characters and animals in in a really great um, dynamic form by placing them in a familiar setting and telling the stories i think there were 150 or 160 different exhibits there were gardens um, some really um, just quiet peaceful music it really was um it was amazing and I really encourage encourage this trip. It was a nice couple of days away, some great meals, a wonderful hotel. And you know, I think um I, I said to to one of the attendees from the trip when I talked to them after we got back, I, I don't think I've laughed that hard in 14 months as I did on this trip with everybody. We just had so much fun and it was really such a such a great group and really just um, you know, a great couple of days to get away. Just what we all need. I know, I know, I tell you. <laughs> okay, this one is the Chautauqua Harbor and Com Comedy Center. That in October 11th, it's going to be a one-night trip. 
We are going to stay at the beautiful Harbor Hotel and it is just gorgeous. There's a picture of it right there. And uh, we're gonna have, when we first arrive, we're gonna go to the Maple Springs Lakeside Inn uh, for a lunch. And they tell me it's more of a dinner than a lunch. And uh, so we will be given some choices of what we can eat. And uh, it, it's supposed to be a phenomenal meal. And then we are going to visit the Chautauqua Institution for historical tour of the grounds. We're also gonna go, we can't ever go on a trip without having a little chocolate. So we're gonna stop at the Webb's Candy Shop and Factory. And we're also gonna do a little wine tasting. Wine tasting goes very well with chocolate. And there will be some sort of a chef presentation at the wine tasting. But then that evening, uh, we're not gonna have a huge meal because our lunch will be the huge meal. We're gonna have a picnic at the Pavilion and it's right next door to the hotel in a park. And uh, it is going to be uh, a real good time. And uh, we're gonna have hamburgers and hot dogs. And uh, you know, so because we will have had a large lunch. And then in the morning uh, we are, and we go, we're gonna get up and we're gonna have breakfast at the hotel. Then we're gonna have a guided tour of Jamestown and a step on guide will come on. Then we're gonna visit the Lucy and Disney Museum and the Comedy Center. And then that afternoon, we're going to go get on a historical steamboat. And for those that have been on the Chautauqua Lake before, this one is going to go down uh, in a different direction down the river. And it, we're gonna enjoy a chicken barbecue. And then we will, uh, later that afternoon, we will head back home. So it is a lovely, lovely trip. And uh, it's many people had asked me, they want to do the Comedy Center. Uh, some of our uh, solo members have. So we decided to put this together and it's very reasonably priced for everything that's in there. And I think that you could have a great time and it's a great time of the year to travel to. It will be just beautiful down in that area in October. So I hope you'll consider it. You're making me hungry, Sue. Yeah, I'm making myself <laughs> hungry. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. Whoops. Is this me? Oh, this it's is me. you. Oh, I'm on. Okay. You're wow. on. <laughs> All this. Through. Okay. This is the New England landscapes. Uh, this one is uh, we actually go to Vermont and we're going to go to Massachusetts and Maine and. Uh, it is a fully, fully loaded trip. It's in October again, the 11th through the 15th. And it does include your round trip motor coach transportation, four nights hotel accommodations, 10 meals, including a New England lobster bake. We can't go to New England without a lobster bake. And we're gonna visit the Lincoln family home. We are going to tour and uh, uh, the Mount Kersarge Kers Indian Museum. And we're gonna go and uh, tour and shopping at the Badger Farm Factory and Company store. And they have a lot of those products that you like sunscreen and they have the bug, uh, you know, the bug off uh, and body oils and all that. And they have their company store right there. And we're gonna actually go right through the factory. So that, that'll be a good time. And we're also gonna visit the Stonewall Kitchens Company store. Something tells me we like to shop. And uh, also we're gonna have admission to the main narrow gauge railroad museum with a scenic train ride. And lighthouse lovers, sightseeing crews. So you're gonna see a lot of lighthouses. We're gonna have a narrated trolley tour through downtown Kenny Bunkport. We're gonna have a guided walking tour of historic Deerfield and a docent led tour of the Emily Dickinson's home. And we're going to have a private tour of Hancock Shakers Village and a visit to the Sands Flat Orchard. This trip has so much, I can't even believe it. And uh, it's just loaded with, with all kinds of uh, great things. So this is, a, if you love lighthouses, you love landscape, beautiful time, October 11th through the 15th, a great, great time to go on this trip. So, um, you know, I hope that you might consider it. All right, Songs of the Shenandoah from the, the Blue, 
blue grass from the Blue Ridge. Um, late October, October 20 to 26. Um, again, such a great time to, to visit the area. So because they're just a little bit further south than us, um, you know, that time of year, the trees are going to be popping. It's still going to be a little bit warmer than here. Um, really so, so much fun, so much to see and do. Um, you're going to learn the history of the, the Shenandoah Valley. Um, uh, while you, uh, you know, travel through this this music trail, um, tour Patsy Klein's hometown, um, visit her, her historic house. There's a tour in wine tasting at the Chateau Morissette Winery, um, a visit to Blue Ridge Blue Ridge Music Center. Um, you're going to really taste the local flavors, enjoy live music, um, perhaps uh, participate in some dance lessons, um, travel the Daniel Boone Trail to the Natural Tunnel State Park, um, visit the birthplace of Loretta Lynn. Uh, you know, I, I can go on and on. There's just so much included. Um, of course, your motor coach transportation from uh, Buffalo, Rochester, or Syracuse, 16, six nights hotel, 17 meals. So 17 opportunities to taste the, uh, the local flavors of the area. Um, you know, uh, a distillery tasting and tour of Dueling Barrels Brewery and Distillery. So um, you're going to eat and drink and listen to music and uh, maybe dance a little. So um, lots of fun. Uh, double occupancy, 2039 a person and single 2479. So um, hope you'll join us on that one this fall. Okay, and I am up again. So um, this is Yellowstone and Mount Rushmore, um, Utah to South Dakota, um, late August, August 14th to 22nd. And I'm telling you, this um, is a trip that you do not want to miss. You are going to check off so many items on your bucket list with this trip alone in nine days. Um, Yellowstone, Old Faithful, Buffalo Bill Historic Center, Crazy Horse Monument, Mount Rushmore, Devil's Tower. You're going to get to experience a Mormon Tabernacle Choir performance um, with reserved seats, embark on a wildlife Jeep safari, float down the Snake River, um, and one evening, if you want, you can even attend a rodeo. So um, eight nights hotel, 15 meals, your airport hotel transfers are included. Um, Flights are not included, but your travel advisor can uh, can help you get um, get to this tour. And um, it it's filling up quickly. And really, um, the U.S. Uh, and domestic destinations are hot right now. And and this this area and this tour, you're going to see and do so much and really just enjoy um, everything that the U.S. has to offer. Okay, and me again. So um, <laughs> you're popular, I, Melissa. I tell you, I don't know. Um, Beauty of Arizona with Las Vegas. Um, this is in October, October sixth through fourteenth. And um, you know, I'll tell you, I went to Arizona, and maybe this is why I'm doing this slide. Um, I went to Arizona this past October, um, and we did Phoenix and the Grand Canyon and Sedona, and um, quite a bit of what's included on this tour. Um, but this tour also includes Las Vegas, and um, you have just enough time in, in Sin City to avoid uh, too much trouble, um, but really um, a great, a great tour. Scott's Tale, uh, the Desert Botanical Garden, Grand Canyon, a train ride through Verde Canyon. You're going to have dinner on the south rim of the Grand Canyon, and um, I tell you, the sunsets at the Grand Canyon is uh, the best entertainment there is out there a Jeep tour through Sedona and Red Rock country um, and time to explore in the old, uh, the old West town of Prescott. And this um, there's uh, an area in Prescott, no uh, famous for whiskey row. And there's some old saloons there and um, lots of stories and uh, you know, some, some famous old West folks, their pictures on the wall. And um, I actually had lunch in Prescott when we were there in October and it was so much fun. And it was really cool to be in the old saloons and you know, um, read read the stories and see the pictures. So um, another really really great great tour. Um, 
Airfare is not included with this tour either. Um, your airport transfers um, are included. Um, we do have group space, group airspace available from Buffalo at a really, really attractive rate. So if you are interested in this tour, make sure when you talk to your travel advisor, you inquire about that, that group airspace from Buffalo. And let's hope Sue is up next. I don't know. I miss That's hearing great. her talk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, this is a good I am. One, I am. You are. Okay. So anyway, this is a definite trip that's going to sell out. The Rocky Mountaineer. Now, if you haven't been on it, it is a wonderful experience. It truly is. The service on there is just impeccable. Uh, they know what you want before you want it. And uh, they come around and they serve you drinks and they have the greatest storytellers on there. Uh, you go down the stairs uh, for your dinner and they serve wonderful, wonderful food. And uh, so the, the train alone is just beautiful. And this particular uh, trip is a, this one, we actually had a presentation on last evening and uh, the AAA did. And we've already have sold uh, six spots on it. And there's only going to be something like 22. So if you're interested in this, you'd have to act fast. Uh, it's hosted by Brian Murray. I think most of the Buffalo people, if you go into the Amherst office, you probably know Brian. He's a great guy. He's our tri AAA director of travel. Friendly, wonderful, very caring. And he will take good care of you, trust me. And uh, this particular trip goes from Salt Lake City to Denver. It's six nights, two days on the Rocky Mountaineer with the Silver Leaf service. It has 14 meals included, and you're gonna to tour Salt Lake City. And I did many of these things. Uh, visit uh, Sundance Resort, uh, which is a ski uh, resort. Uh, there's also very interesting private stargazing experience with a local astronomer in Moab, 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 pardon me. And visits to the Capitol Reef National Park, Goblin Valley State Park, Canyonlands National Park, and the Dead Horse Point State Park. So you got lots of visits to state parks, sightseeing tour of the Arches National Park, and you're also gonna enjoy Colorado River jet boat ride. Wow. And uh, you're gonna have free time in Salt Lake City, Moab, and Denver. So this is a, a wonderful trip. And the good news, if you book it by May 7th, you are going to save $100 per room. So you've got till May 7th and you, there is a uh, AAA member savings there. So this trip is uh, a great trip. Just being on the Rocky Mountaineer is an experience and then to have all this too. And uh, and this is a great, and it's in the United States. And I think you'll see a lot of travel in within the United States this year uh, for many people that feel safer. And uh, so this will be a great trip. And uh, it is the rail in Red Rocks adventure. So uh, you don't wanna miss out on this. So if you are thinking of it, I have heard so many people so many times, and you've all told me this, that you know, I thought I, I wasn't sure if I wanted to go and I waited, then it was sold out. Then they go on a wait list. So if you really want something like this, act on it fast because it, it's, it will sell out. So thank you. Okay, so see, now I'm up again. <laughs> <I'm the know. laughs> okay, this one is fall in Charleston and Savannah. This is going to take place in October, the 19th to the 25th. I will be hosting the trip and it will include your round trip airfare from Buffalo, Rochester and Syracuse to Charleston. And there's six nights hotel accommodations, uh, 12 meals are included. It has a historic uh, district trolley tour in Savannah. And you're gonna have dinner at the original Crab Shack voted the best seafood. So for you seafood lovers, this is a trip to take. And you're also going to tour uh, America's only tea garden and the Charleston Tea Garden. Uh, they say that it's acres and acres of tea plants and there's a beautiful gift shop there. And uh, 
I don't know why I have to keep telling people about gift shops, but I know a lot <laughs> of you do love it. And also there's going to be a Charleston Harbor dinner cruise, and there's going to be an evening performance at the Savannah Theater. Uh, and there's going to be uh, for, there's going to be a visit to Fort Flasky and Tybee Lighthouse. So, and I know my grandson goes to uh, SCAD, which is the Savannah College of Art and Design. And I know that Tybee, he's over there all the time at the beach. It's 15 minutes from the school. And uh, I don't know about these kids. He sent a picture today for a sophomore year. They're renting an, uh, a flat and a house. And I saw a picture of it, it is gorgeous. It's yellow and it's got the big wide porch in back and they've got a hot tub. I thought, God, these college kids, they have it made. I tell you, it wasn't like that in my day. Anyway, and uh, so we've got all things. There's a tour of the Magnolia Plantation and Gardens too. And there's a complete itinerary on this trip when you get the flyer and there's lots and lots of inclusions. And uh, it's gonna be fun. And uh, I hope when I'm there, I at least get to say hi to my grandson for a minute. You know how boys are, they're not too, too into it, not like girls, so we'll see what happens. But I hope I at least get to see him for a second. But it will be a fun trip and uh, I'm looking forward to it. And I hope you'll think about joining me. Okay. It sounds great, Sue. And you know, more, more eating and shopping, so. <laughs> yes, right. Hey, I'll, I'll uh, weigh so much when I get back home, I don't know. <laughs> oh my goodness, I tell you. <clears throat> Lucky well, I survived um, there's this. There's a little bit of gap between between October and December for this trip. So you yeah. can, uh, oh, yep. somebody's asking for us to slow down a little bit. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, we can. airfare extra for Mountaineer. Um, yes, so um, Rocky Mountaineer um, uh, does not include the airfare. So you would work with your travel advisor to book flights um, to meet the, the tour from your your preferred departure city. And should we tell them, Melissa, that we are going to send them or they could connect to the flyers, correct? Or, oh, um, yes. Yep. Yep. Yes. So we'll we'll talk about that later yeah. on. But yeah, okay. all of the trips that we're talking about, you'll get an email tomorrow or Friday with a, a link to click on to view the flyer and all of the details for all of these trips. And you can always reach out to your, your travel advisor, visit one of the branches or call the travel advisor um, contact center as well to ask questions or book any of these. Yeah, and they're on the solo website too. You can always go there and you can print them out too. Right? Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Good. Um, and we just had a question pop up asking the um, the single rate for Charleston, and the single rate on that is thirty two sixty nine. And I apologize. Yeah, some of the um, some of the the content at the bottom of the slides seems to be getting cut off there. Yeah, this did not happen the last time, so I think we have to maybe print it smaller. Yeah, yeah, we might have to not not use the bottom as much yep. there. Yep. Yep. Okay, so now we go on to the uh, the Rose Bowl Parade. Mm. So um, why not celebrate New Year's on the West Coast? Um, you'll witness the Tournament of Roses, uh, the floats being decorated, attend the parade in a reserved grandstand seat um, right on Colorado Boulevard. All of the floats are gonna come, come right by. Um, during this trip, which is December 29th through January 3rd, um, you're also going to visit uh, Warner Brothers studio, get a chance to explore Los Angeles, Hollywood, and Beverly Hills. You'll see that famous Hollywood sign. Uh, you'll uh, walk along with the stars on the Walk of Fame, uh, visit um, the coastal communities, have a beach day or two, um, Orange County, including Newport Beach and Laguna Beach. And um, there's some free time built into this itinerary too. So if you want to visit Disneyland or downtown Disney or, you know, any of those attractions, there'll be time for you to do that as well. You've got um, five nights hotel, nine meals, um, your airport um, transfers as well. Um, again, um, uh, the air is not included. Work with your your travel advisor to um, to to book the flights from from your preferred city to to meet up with this tour. So it's you know it's really going to be a a great time and what a great way to spend New Year's. Okay, a, a question just came in. 
uh, will there be a solo New Year's Eve this year? And uh, I think we should have one. <laughs> I do. Uh, I do too. Um, yeah. Yeah. We, yeah. We did talk about it a little bit. We were trying to decide. And uh, so anybody got suggestions where you'd like to go, uh, send them in. I know that we've done Boston and we did Cleveland and I know we have done Saratoga several times. Uh, and of course we will have to check around to make sure, you know, that we will be able to, you know, and by that time, I think that everything should be fine. And uh, by certainly that's a new year and we should be good. But uh, if anyone does have any ideas, that's something we will look into and we will work on probably in the next couple of weeks, okay? Because we do have to get the space booked and have a plan. But I think it sounds great. <laughs> I know we always had a good time on those trips. Okay, so now, guess what? It's my turn, so I keep talking. Uh, this one is, oh, I thought we had. I, I know, we're out, of, <laughs> we're out of order a little bit here. Can you hop in on this one? Yeah, I'll hop in on this one, no okay. problem. <laughs> I like them both, so I'll, I'll I talk. Know, right? Yeah. When you say cruising to me, I love it. And when you were, mention the word Bermuda, I love it. So everyone knows me, and they know that I love Bermuda. And I probably preach it too much. But if you haven't been to Bermuda, honestly, you have to go to Bermuda someday in your life because it's beautiful. The people in Bermuda are so friendly. The water is turquoise. The Homes are pastel with the roofs, the white thatch roofs, and it's just a beautiful, beautiful island. I love it so much. And they have the beautiful beaches with pink sand. In the beginning, when you came on, you probably saw there were a bunch of us standing on the beach in Bermuda on that pink sand. And uh, every time I go to Bermuda with a group, I'll go up in the uh, hill there and I get myself a stick. And I come down and I write in the sand, Bermuda with the date. And then I get as many of you as I can to stand with me and uh, so that we can have our picture taken and we'll remember. And I think I've got all the years. And uh, in fact, one of those pictures today too was a bunch of us standing up on top of, a, uh, I think it was a, at a golf course or something all together had our picture taken. And that was in Bermuda, but Bermuda, is my favorite place. That's where I go and I buy the Gosling's dark rum so that I can make all these rum swizzles. And this particular trip is May 13th. Now we've tried for two years and it's been canceled due to the pandemic. It was canceled in uh, 20 and 21. So I think third time is a charm. We've got quite a few people on here already. I think if I'm not mistaken about 28 and uh, this will include your round trip motor coach down to Cape Liberty, 10 nights on the ship, and we're gonna have our onboard meals and entertainment on the ship. It comes with a classic beverage package, free Wi-Fi, and prepaid onboard gratuities. We're gonna have a full day in Newport, and we're gonna have a full night and an overnight and a day in Charleston, and two full days in Bermuda. So this is gonna be a wonderful trip and 10 nights. You know, when I used to you know, go on shorter cruises, when I did a seven night, I thought, oh, this is great. But when I started doing 10 nights, it's even greater. Because when you first get on, you know, the days fly by and then I go and my, after three days, I go, oh, I got seven more days. I got a whole cruise and I love it. But this is gonna be a great trip. I know Bermuda inside out, we'll do all kinds of tours. Guarantee we'll have some rum swizzle on this and uh, take you to the swizzle in. I don't know if anybody saw in those pictures pre, there was a picture in front of the swizzle in and uh, we'll just have a great time. And uh, cause we always do anytime the solo people are together, there's something about them, but we just have a good time. And I think you'll all agree with me. And so I would love to have you come and join me. I can't wait after it's waiting two years for this, it's the third year, we're gonna make it. And this is gonna go on. Cruise ships are supposed to go back in the water in July. Well, I'll talk about that in a second. So anyway, uh, this is a great one. And uh, as I say, all these inclusions, 
You won't even have to worry about anything because your gratuities, your Wi-Fi, your beverage. So there's really nothing to worry about. It's almost like an all-inclusive package. So join me. This is going to be fun. And I'll know Charleston as I'm going to be down there, don't forget, in October. And I'm, and I'm also going to be in Newport because look at this. Now, this one is... <laughs> we this, found it, Sue. <laughs> oh, we found it. Good. We found this it. <laughs> another endless summer, Bermuda and Newport, July 25th. Now, this is this year. And the cruise ships are supposed to be back in the water in July. And I pray that they are because you don't know how bad I want to go on this cruise. And we've got people already booked. We've got 16 people wanting to go on this cruise. And we're ready. Our bags are packed. We've paid in full. And we're ready to go. And this is going to spend one day in Newport and three days in, two nights in, uh, two, three days in Bermuda. And it's a seven night cruise. It's on the beautiful Celebrity Summit. She was redone two years ago. And of course, no one's been on her now for a while. And she's just beautiful. And this is what they told me when I talked to them recently. They said that the air filtration system on this ship when she was revolutionized is so great. It's brand new. They said that they have the fresh air comes in the front of the ship and goes out the back of the ship. It goes every 12, it changes 12 times in every hour. And it is got all kinds of filtrations against all kinds of viruses and everything. And I don't know if you know this or not, but cruise lines do require, and your agents will tell you this when you book, but cruise lines do require that you are vaccinated, okay? So in order to go on a cruise, you will have to be vaccinated and at least, you know, with the two weeks after the second shot, or if you had the one shot two weeks after that, fully vaccinated. And uh, so again, this is going to be great. And I mean, these people really want to go. I really want to go. So I said, we've got a 56 passenger bus going down to Bayonne with us. And I said to uh, Melissa, can we just still talk about it? Because we should still be able to get space. So if you're interested, talk to your agent. They'll call and we'll get you the very best rate possible. Because this is going to be fun. I don't know about you, but I have missed cruising so much. And I wanted to hit 300 cruises by the end of this year. And because of all that went on for two years, I'm not going to make it. But it's okay because I'm ready for this. My bags are packed and it has all these inclusions. So uh, if you'd like to get away this year, uh, the cruise lines say, you know, they look at it that it's almost like a bubble being on a cruise because you're going to be. First of all, you're going to be everybody's going to be vaccinated. Second of all, they are going to do like some of those the mouth swab test. I forget what that's called, and the antigen or something. Anyway, they will be doing tests, and uh, they've got the filtration system. Cruise lines are a portion of their ship. First of all, they're not filling them to capacity. I think they're only going out right now at 40 or 50 percent. So you know, it's a beautiful time to go because you got more space around the pool. You got almost the, the ship to yourself. And what they're going to do for dining, just so you know real quick, and this will be the new way, uh, the dining, they'll have more seatings so that people are not sitting as close. And for entertainment, they will also have like three shows in the evening instead of two, so that people, they can spread them apart if your party's together. And this is how the cruise lines will do it until everything is back to normal. And uh, so, but I really, and honestly, I'm going to be anxious to go on this so I can come back and tell all of you about it. But if you want to come with me and check it out, come on along. Thanks. And you'll drink rum swizzled. So how can you of course go wrong? I will. <laughs> no, that's what helps you. You know, if you if you do that, it's really, you know, it kills all the germs. So you don't have right, to right. <laughs> we should have started drinking rum swizzles 14 months ago. So yeah, I think we should have. <laughs> right. Well, who says I didn't? But that's true. That's, that's true. why I that's want to true. go back to Bermuda. I need more rum. Right. 
Okay. Um, so the, this next cruise, we're, we're jumping ahead to, uh, to January of 2022. It's a, a 10 night, um, you know, Sue just talked so much about how, how great 10 night cruises are. So this is a, a 10 night um, Eastern Caribbean. It's a no fly cruise. So it'll be motor coach out of Buffalo, Rochester, Syracuse to, to New York City. And then the 10 night cruise, it's, it's with Norwegian Cruise Line on their gem. So you have freestyle dining, um, just a very relaxed, casual atmosphere. You're going to visit Turks and Caicos, St. Thomas, St. Martin, Tortola, uh, Puerto Plata, which is in Dominican Republic. Um, all of your onboard meals and entertainment are included. And um, so right now, Norwegian Cruise Line has a promotion running and it's it's supposed to be through um, mid-May. Um, and any bookings, also include the beverage package, a specialty dining package, which gives you um, three or four specialty dining experiences on board, shore excursion credit for all of your ports, and also free Wi-Fi. So um, great time to book this cruise. Um, it starts at $16.51 per, per person double occupancy. We can get you uh, single rates, um, just talk to your travel advisor, but this really is a, a great cruise and a great itinerary and now's the time to book because of all of those um, those added uh, added perks. That sounds great. I know. What a great time to go. You're, you're about ready for a cruise then. So now all right, DJ, skip you can go this, skip You want to hear one. me again. Yeah. Okay, well, they're stuck with me one more time, at least. And at least. <laughs> uh, so here we are. I don't know if there's another one or not. So let's see, we got maybe there. Now, I know lots of people in a lot of our cities, Buffalo, Rochester, and Syracuse, we would get together in smaller groups and we would meet out and have uh, like after work or we would meet at lunchtime, have lunches together and things. And I understand that during the pandemic, a lot of you did that. And I know we had a lot of you that got together and even took little trips together. And I think it was great. And because, you know, I think it's great that the solo people got together and helped each other and uh, did a little bit of traveling that was safe. So I got thinking this windmill farm and craft market, originally I was gonna make it a trip with the motor coach and when you could only put so many people on a motor coach and you're just going a short distance, the price was pretty extravagant. So I said, why don't we just do a meet me there? And I asked Melissa if we could. So this is down in Penn Yan, New York. It's down Route 4. You go down, uh, you know, from Geneva down Route 14 and uh, off, uh, well, I won't get into that because I'm not good at directions. I know M Melissa will know. Because Melissa, uh, what route do you take off of 14? I, but they'll have um, to go. This is, this is actually right off of 14A. So um, 14A, okay. Yeah, so you take 14, 14 down to 14A. Okay. But, um, yeah, right, right, okay. right down there by Cuca Lake. Yep. So this really and truthfully, uh, now in your solo newsletter, your newsletter was scheduled to be out later in the month, but I think it's going to come out mid-month, I think around the 15th of May. So you can start looking for it. And in there on the front page, I have all the details. And I've actually got uh, the website. So if you want to see what this has, now they have 175 shops. It includes entertainment. It includes places to eat. It includes all kinds of arts and crafts and shops and furniture, Amish furniture. And so it's supposed to be, I have never been there. I've always wanted to go. It's a farm and craft market. And I thought it would be a great opportunity that we could meet up. So I talked to the organizer. I told her I decided not to do the motor coach and she's gonna save us where the motor coach parks and directions are on the sheet. Uh, she's gonna save us a place where our group can park. And she also is gonna be there and give us a little shopping bag with a little guidebook and some little chachis that she'll throw in there. So I just thought it would be nice for anybody that's free on July 10th of Saturday uh, at 11 o'clock in the morning, we all kind of meet up and we all walk around and see each other's familiar faces. We can have our mask on and we'll be outdoors. So if you're not really close, you know, I mean, you know how it goes. Now they say you don't have to wear it outdoors, but in a place like this, you probably will want to. But it has, uh, you can see little pictures there. There's 
places to eat, there's entertainment. So I think it was a way to, we could get people back together and not everybody's ready to travel and I know that, okay? There's people that are gonna take longer and then there's some that they just can't wait to get out there. They just, I mean, they're, they'll go any place. And that's almost me. I'm so glad I went to the Ark Encounter because I enjoyed it and it, I got out and I know it's safe and I know how careful we were and how we followed all the rules. And if you do that, you're gonna be safe. And I know that if I go on a cruise ship and I know that everybody's vaccinated, yes, I know someone could get sick, but I know that the cruise lines now have, they will actually quarantine that person or persons and they'll take care of them. And uh, so, you know, that I know is good. So we just have to be careful and we have to follow the rules, but this would be a great chance. We can all see each other, say hi to each other. You can stay for an hour, you could stay for, it's open till 4.30. You can stay as long as you want. Right around the corner, you could go down the little wine trail if you wanna hit a couple of wineries after. Although I hear there's some wine wineries here too. So uh, I think we could have fun. So if you do decide to go, the only thing I need is for you to email me and tell me so that we can count on the number of cars. You know, I could have the, uh, this Mary Wilson save enough space for us that, for our cars, okay? Because then we can all be parked in the same area. But I'd love to have you come. And I think it would be a good opportunity to get some of us out there that might be a little bit afraid, but they want to venture out because we all know that we stayed in long enough. I It was over a year and that we were in our houses and now the beautiful weather is coming. It'll be gorgeous in July. Let's get out there and meet and greet each other. So we'll uh, hope to see you there. And again, all that information is right in my newsletter. You can't miss it to the right of my picture. And that letter will be out around, give or take, around the 15th of May, okay? Thank you. Oh, and someone asked me, is there a date that you need to know? Uh, probably I would want to know at least, that's a good question. I want to know at least uh, by, I'm going to say by around July 1st, so that I can have her save me the space, okay? So I'll say July 1st for that. Thank you. Sorry about that. Okay, Melissa, all yours. You're up. All right. All right. So um, we, and and I'm going to preface this by saying, these trips are not completely ready to book yet. Um, you guys are getting a, a first, first, um, first notice of them. But four really great fun trips for for the fall. Um, they will be listed, um, all details and ready for you to book starting the week of the 17th. In uh, they're going to be listed in the solo news what letter and then also in the AAA member connection that comes out at the end of May. But um, I did want you guys to hear about these trips. They're going to be a lot of fun. Um, up in Stitches in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, uh, a three night trip, um, visiting the Amish, um, quilt shops, shopping, um, markets, just food and food and shopping and friendship. So a lot, a lot of fun there. Um, the, the next one, the same date, so you're going to have to choose, but Plum Island with bird watching. So this is a little more of an active tour, but Plum Island is out on the coast in Massachusetts, and it's a great little village. Um, we actually held my sister's bachelorette party and shower there, and um, just a lot of fun um, restaurants and shops and cafes. And um, this tour will do some bird watching, and there's a uh, um, a little, um, a tame little kayak, uh, kayak tour around Plum Island. So just really a great time of year to visit, visit the area. It should be beautiful and, uh, you know, great just to dip your toes in the, in the ocean one last time. Um, October two through eight, we have trains of New England. So this is a tour, um, 
uh, lots of train rides and visiting stations up the coast of New England. And um, we've offered this tour before and it always sells out and it's really popular. People really, really enjoy it. So details will be out soon about that. And then ghost story. Um, this starts down in the Sleepy Hollow area of New York. It goes to Salem, Mass, and it also goes to, um, to a city in Vermont. So um, uh, cemetery tours, ghost stories, haunted tours, um, just a lot of fun, lots of inclusions and, and really just a, you know, a great little getaway in, in the fall. So um, you heard about all these here first. Um, certainly, um, if you're interested in any of these, talk to your travel advisor. They will not have any information just yet. We're still finalizing the details with, with our suppliers now that you know things are starting to open back up and we're able to get into some of these um, you know, exclusive sites and, and you know, um, great places we're able to put these tours together. So if you are interested, let your travel advisor know. They'll, um, they'll create a lead, they'll make note of it. And then as soon as we, we let them know that they're, they're ready for sale, they can reach out, out to you. Great. Melissa, can I just add one little thing? Yeah. Okay. Just that something that I'm working on right now, because I know that the last time we did this, it sold out real fast. Uh, this fall, the Adirondack Railroad going up to Old Forge. I'm actually working right now with a cruise up there, because the one that we used the last time is actually out of business, but there's one on Racket Lake. And so where you would, uh, we'll take the train up to Old Forge, we'll go on a cruise, and then we'll take the train back. And it's a one day trip. And uh, so not ready yet, but I am working with them. And as soon as I can get that uh, for sure thing and confirmed, we will be out with it. But I just want to kind of alert you, because I know a lot of people have asked about it. So we will be having that this year. Sounds and it'll appear on the website, the solo website. Anytime we get, once the trips are, you know, set and ready to book, they go on that website. So you see that on there then call your travel agent. And the travel agents are dying to hear from you too. They really are. They, they love uh, the solo people. They, they tell me that. I go over to the Camilla's branch all the time. And every time I walk in, they're like, oh, we do. they do. They love the solo travel people. So they, they love seeing you. So good. Oh, there you are. Okay, so are you ready to travel? Do you have more questions? Um, we've tried to answer questions that came in tonight in the chat. Of course, you can always um, reach out to us with questions at groups at nyaaa.com or sue directly. Um, but your travel advisor is there is there to answer questions or book book your trip for you if you have somebody you've worked with in the past. If you haven't worked with a travel advisor in the past, you can visit one of our local branches and anyone would be happy to help you or um, jot down this number, give our uh, travel advisor call center a call at 800-937-1222. Um, they have all the information on all these trips we've talked about. Um, there's more trips as well, um, but uh, we, we thought we'd feature these trips. Um, so, so yeah, if you're ready to travel, now is the time. Um, you know, like we mentioned with, about the COVID protocol, we're running these trips um, at a reduced capacity. So many of our trips are sold out. We didn't talk about any trips tonight that are sold out, um, but some of them are getting close. So um, if you're ready, um, now's the time to get that booked. For sure. Mm -hmm. And um, so either tomorrow or Friday, and this is, um, this is all, uh, hinged on our, our IT department and how quickly we can get this email out, but you're going to receive an email. It'll probably have a, a picture of our Sue on it, um, but you're going to get an email with a link. And if you click on that link, it will open um, our the AAA.com page and it will list uh, all of the details of all of the trips that we talked about tonight. So it goes into more detail about the trips and there's even an area where you can click to open the flyer. So make sure to, to watch for, for your email. Yes, and to travel is to live. Is that not true? It really is. And doesn't it look beautiful? Actually tonight I'm jealous of Tom there in the picture. He's got that Caribbean background and 
looks like he's at the beach. <laughs> and I know he isn't. I know you got a background. But I bet you wish you were at the beach. And take a look at this. Could you see it now? That looks like the Solo Travels Club uh, chairs to me right there. Forget the Adirondack chairs, they're solo chairs. And uh, we're really happy that you all joined us tonight. And our next meeting, you might want to mark your calendar, is going to be on a Tuesday night. I changed it to Tuesday because we have Wednesday. And some people say, well, I have such and such a meeting on a Wednesday. So I thought I'd shake it up a little. And it's going to be June 29th at 6 p.m. It will be virtual. And after that, we're hoping that light at the tunnel is going to open up and we are going to be back together again. I can't even imagine what the meetings will be like. And I can't even imagine us wanting to leave at eight o'clock. <laughs> Maybe I'll have to book it for an extra hour because we will all be so excited to be able to see each other and maybe even give hugs again. Won't that be great? And uh, I sure am looking forward to it. It has been a long year and a half and I can't say enough about it. And I just, I love seeing pictures. Is there any way we could see more people on the screen too? I just love seeing all the pictures tonight of everybody. It was, uh, it was great. And I felt more like a part of it. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, many times when we do, I do the video and I'll be doing another video too. But when I do it, I'm looking at myself, which I don't love it. I'll clean it myself. And I love looking at all of you. So tonight it was a great thing. I had a couple people right there and I was able to look at them and it was great. So we want to thank you because we're so happy to be, we're getting back. We'll put it that way. We're almost 100% back, but not quite, but we're getting there. And thanks everybody for joining us. Melissa, do you have anything to say? Just thank you everyone for being here and hanging on with us and letting us talk about all these trips. As you can see, Sue and I are, are excited for all of these trips and to get to get back out on the road. And um, it was great to see all your faces. Um, it's I've got my gallery view up now and I can see everybody. And, you know, if you've got your camera off um, and you have a camera, can you turn it on? Because we want to see everybody. Yeah, turn on those yeah, cameras. Let's Come see. on. Can somebody? I can't see everybody. Uh, I oh. can. Sue, if you click, there's a little your view button in the top right. You can click gallery view. But um, I I have to I have to go through three screens to be able to see everybody. That's how um that's how many people we have here tonight, and it's really oh, cool. Oh wow! And I recognize a lot of names, and everybody's waving. It's it's oh so yeah. Hey. Yeah, oh, this is great. I love that. Oh, now I'm going through. Yes. Yeah. I'm seeing three at a time. My God, how are you? Yeah. That's so yeah. cool. Hi, everyone. Carol. Oh my God. Hello, everyone. This is yeah. wonderful. Oh, I love it. See, now I feel I feel so much better. I feel like I almost feel like I'm at the meeting, but not quite. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we still got to go further, but this is a lot better. Oh my God, Deb and Linda and Charlene. Oh my God, this is great. I love it, Helen, Cheryl, Pat. This is super. This is so much fun. Oh my God, Nora, <laughs> Miriam, Jane. Oh, I tell you, I could do this all night. God, yes. this is great. Oh, come on, smile. Oh, there's Bob and Richard. Woo. This is great. Gloria, get yours. <laughs> yeah, Gloria. Yeah, where is Gloria? Oh God, there's Pat and okay, Richard. Yeah, Gloria. Oh, oh, come on, Pat. Gloria, we can't see on. you. Sally. We can only see your bubble. Yeah, you gotta. But anyway, it's fun, and and it just goes to show you how much closer we are, and we're all going to be together. I can't wait. I can't wait for Melissa to come to one of our meetings, and we could show her how great you all are because. I tell her how great you are, but now she can witness it and she'll <laughs> really realize. It's right. Great. I just get to see you all in slow motion on the screen. So it'll be exciting to meet in person. Let's hope yeah. the end of the summer. Yep. I see all the names going across. So that's great. Oh okay. Goodness. Well, thank you, everyone. And have a good night and be safe and, and keep up, you know, make sure you still wash the hands and everything and, and watch your distance because we want you to stay safe. AAA, our main concern is your safety.
and uh, we want you to stay that way. Okay. Thank you. Good night, everyone. Night. Thank you. Bye. Bye.